Hi everyone, I'm Tim Dubois and I'm the product manager for the in-app guidance product at Salesforce. Welcome to the summer 20 release of in-app guidance that is now featuring walkthroughs. If you are familiar with in-app guidance from previous releases, this will look similar, but you can now author multi-step prompts or what we call walkthroughs. In-app guidance is exciting because it lets you embed the learning directly into the app where it has the most context for the user, whether it's highlighting changes in the apps or onboarding new users. And remember, there's no browser plugin, security issues, or performance impacts. It's all built into the platform and it's simple and quick. Okay, let's get started. The in-app guidance setup page is much the same as it was in previous releases. You'll note that you will now see walkthroughs as a type of guidance. Otherwise, very similar functionality as before with views, completes, and rollable actions like cloning. All right, let's take a look at an existing one. And now you see the first step of the walkthrough appear. This is highlighting the recently viewed list for opportunities and recommending to pin the list, to save some clicks. When you click on next, it's going to navigate you into the first record. And here it's talking about the highlights panel where you can get some summary information. Clicking one more time on the next, it will bring you to the details section. And here it's telling you that you can go ahead and make some changes to the details. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a change. You'll notice that as I make the change, the prompt is not going to go away until I dismiss it. And by the way, we added a nice handle to let you drag the prompt out of the way if it happens to be blocking something. Now when I click Next this time, it's actually navigating to a whole new app and new page. And we're ending on a docked prompt. Here we have a video you can play in line. This allows users to get the information right in the app. You can also maximize this out, check out some text underneath the video. You can also minimize it so you can take care of those actions later on. We've also added an action, a call to action button. In this case, it's opening up my trailhead, but this is a config configurable link that you could have linked anywhere. Okay. Now let's jump back to the in-app guidance setup page and see how that walkthrough was created. Opening the walkthrough in edit brings up the authoring UI for in-app guidance. Notice the new builder in the summer 20 release. There's a right panel to choose a type of prompt for each step. The left panel shows each step and the rest of the app is running in the middle. And you can just navigate around the app. We take care of keeping track of the page you're on so you don't have to worry about it. This is all done with clicks. Clicking next in the right panel gives you the section to enter the title, the body of the prompt. And then clicking on each step in the left panel lets you navigate around through the walkthrough. Now you can see on the last step that we have a docked prompt to end the walkthrough on. You can embed a video if you choose, as well as add text in some of the rich, with some of the rich text editing. It's also very easy to reorder or add a new step. You simply navigate to the place you want to add a new step and click Add step. It's that simple. Now let's jump into the properties, the final settings. Here you can add an optional action link. In this case, we added the link to my trailhead to let users scale up. You can also schedule a prompt. These settings have not changed since the previous release, which has your start date, end date, times to show etc. You also have your profiles and permissions where you can target the subgroup of users that will see this walkthrough. And again, you can mix and match between the profiles and permissions to identify the proper subgroup. And the final step is activation. You give it the name. And also, you can choose whether it's active when you save. And that's it. That's how easy it is to create a walkthrough. As you can see, creating in-app guidance with single prompts or walkthroughs is simple and quick. It's all done with clicks. And by the way, all the guidance is fully translatable, packageable, and reportable via custom reports. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the new in-app guidance walkthroughs.